So, Saints Row 4 was then in Australia for, um, an ex uh, it was like sexual violence or something like that, and they just rang in the 18 plus rating, and they banned two games. They banned, um, uh, it's some zombie game. They banned it for, um, taking drugs to get your stamina and health up. It's pretty bullshit if you ask me. It's like, why bring in the R18 plus rating if you're not going to use it? But what does this mean for GTA 5? I think if they ban Saints Row 4, they're going to ban GTA 5, definitely. Because GTA is usually way worse than Saints Row. That's just how it is. It's kind of good because Volition are remaking it for Australia, making it less sexual and less violent. It's going to be shit in the end because we're not going to get the full experience of Saints Row 4. I'm guessing GDA will probably do the uncut version or no, the cut version because the uncut version will obviously be the worst one. Like they did with um, Saints Row, I mean not Saints Row, uh, GDA San Andreas. They um, bring out a dumbed down version for us. It was still good but lacking. So, hit me up in the comments if you want to know any more gaming news about um, Saints Row 4 and GDA. Um, and subscribe and stay locked for more gaming news. Thanks.